Hey guys, welcome back. Bo D101 here, and we're back in the world of mod life, picking up pretty close to after we left off. I think I did a little bit of stuff in between. Um, I did set this up. So now, basically, uh, when this... I Okay, I did make these heat sinks, put them on the cool side, and it pumped up the heat on them. You can see this is running 133, 134. And, and then this is running at a total of a little over 130. So this is going. Uh, we don't see anything here because it's pumping out. Uh, we got ourselves our kerosene, our diesel, our gasoline, and our LPG all set up right there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, why, you may ask, are we getting these fuels? Well, that's what we're going to attempt to work on today. So, in the a lot of trees. Um, in the immersive engineering mod, we've go ahead and made a windmill, and we've made ourselves a water wheel. Both of them are pretty passive; uh, they kind of run on their own. Don't need a whole lot of work done on our end, but at the same time, they don't really generate much power. So, what I want to work on today. Day, and I should, uh, once I figure out where the heck I put my missile engineering book, I may have to make a new one. I have not seen it or used it in quite a while. Wait, oh, wait, uh, 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 there it is. Okay. So, what I want to work on is, that is really tiny. Oh, really small. Okay. All right, all right, calm down. Why is the book so tiny? Okay. Uh, what I want to work on is a diesel generator. So basically, diesel generator is something that uses full fuel to create power, okay? And what we're going to need for this is we're going to need six generator blocks, nine radiator blocks, and 27 heavy engineering blocks. And I'm hoping, 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 hoping we have enough uh, stuff to make this. If not, well, it's a little bit of a fit. So we need 27 of these. So we're going to need Electrum. We're going to need steel. We're going to need these steel uh, casings, which is going to be steel and copper. We need some pistons. And there we go. So let's start off by seeing how much steel we have. We have, we got plenty. We got blocks and blocks and blocks and blocks of it. I've been trying for many, 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 many. Why am I doing it that way? Just give me, do that many many episodes to get um enough of everything built up so all right we have a little bit of electrum i think we only needed one oh no we needed crap all right let's look up the thing for electrum real quick let's do that uh let's see it is gold and silver so why don't we go ahead we got plenty of gold uh, we got a decent amount of silver. Did I get a stack of it? I did. So let's go ahead and get this up there and get this started while we work on the rest of the parts. So we're going to put this in here. We got our gold. We got our silver. And that should be making up about a stack of electrum. So that'll be perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some copper, which we should have plenty of. Now, uh, heavy engineering blocks. So we're going to need... These it makes two at a time, and we're gonna need two of these. So we actually need twenty, technically twenty-eight of these. So copper and steel. Let's just do it like this. All right. Let's see how many of these we can get. Ah, uh, we can get thirty-two. We actually only need twenty-eight. So let's start off by grabbing these. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. All right. Perfect. Okay. And then we are going to need 28 pistons. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a stack of that. And a stack of that. And a stack of that. And just for fun, let's actually grab, grab a bunch of this. All right. There we go. So I think we should actually have uh, everything we need to be able to do this. So, all right, there's that. Bink, 
bank. Need 28 of these. Ooh, that gives us 16. What are we out of? Oh, we're out of cobble. That's okay. So let's do that. Let's grab another stack of cobble. And we should be able to uh, make the rest of these pistons. All right, so I have 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20 3, 4, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh, my God. It's like I planned that. Get out of town. Get out of town, Julie Brown. Wow. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, well, that's more than a stack. Okay, I forgot that it makes more. Okay, so we got ourselves our Electrum, and now we should be able to make... Four. I need more steel. That's what it is. That's what it is. Give us uh, a couple more of those bad boys. Let's actually pop this out because I'm lazy. And boom. What am I out of? Oh, no, no. No, no, that's right. Because it's 14, but times 2. 28. Yeah, yeah, I won. Okay. I don't know what I won, but I won something. All right, so there's that. Now, the next thing we needed was we needed ourselves uh, nine radiator blocks. So let's actually just go into... Immersive engineering like so. All right, and I know that they're kind of close to each other. Where are you at? Where are you at? Come on, YouTuber blindness. It's one page. There we go. Uh, radiator blocks. So we're going to need copper, steel, and buckets of water. So let's do this real quick. Let's get this stuff out of the way. So we got copper. We got steel. We only need nine of these. Uh, let's grab ourselves these buckets. Um, do I have water somewhere? That's right here. All right, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's make these radiator blocks. Now, this isn't necessarily going to fix our... Uh, power problem so it's copper steel okay um this isn't going to ne necessarily fix our power problem um but in a pinch it will definitely help and the only reason i'm saying it won't fix it is because we uh all right there we go because we um we just we aren't generating enough fuel out of this all right well this is this is super annoying all right is that actually I got too much water that's fine it's okay we'll be fine nope 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 you go there give me that you go here I just need this just give me that is that so difficult all right uh let's actually dump these waters back in because I need these for our machine here all right there's that and that all right, we're making things. We're making things, kids. All right, and the last thing we're going to need is... Let me just check something real quick. Okay, that's still filling up. I don't need these buckets in here, but I just put them in here anyway. All right. And the last thing we need is we're going to need six generator blocks, which means we're going to need six of these, which means we're going to need six of these. So we need some iron and a bunch of LV wire. LV wire is copper and sticks. So let's get, I don't think I have much. Yeah, I only have three. All right, so let's get ourselves some sticks. Let's actually grab ourselves a fresh full stack of copper. And let's go ahead and make these bad boys. So uh, we're going to need, whoops. Oh, yeah, I need to make this stuff. Need a butt ton of this. I'm just gonna grab. Uh, that's fine. We'll see. We'll see if that's fine. Math is dumb. Okay. And oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Get out of town, kids. We did it. I'm very proud of myself. All right. Then six of these. So we do we have iron? Oh my God. Look at. This. Oh, everything is coming up, Modi. This is amazing. Can we get lucky? Can we get lucky? Eh. Eh. Stupid making twos. I got some extras. It's okay. It doesn't hurt. All right. There we go. So let's go get this bad boy set up. Um, let's actually dump. 
these ingots so they can kind of make their way back to where they're supposed to go. All right. <clears throat> so this is a three by five machine, I believe. Yeah. So what we're going to do is first we're going to get, yeah, first we're going to get these and we're going to go one, two, three. Meow. Oop. Forgot I had a jetpack. Kind of scared me a little bit there. All right. Got an extra one of those, which we don't need. All right. I'm going to put these down. Now, for anybody who's not watching my Infinity series, um, I really like immersive engineering just in general. But anybody who knows me, I like multi block structures. I think they're pretty, pretty neato to say the least. And this, these are some of the coolest ones. So, I'll give it a little, little whack. I don't remember exactly where I'm supposed to hit this right here. There we go. And there we have a diesel generator. Pretty simple. Okay. So, what we need to do now is we're going to go ahead and... How, how do I want to set this up? All right. Do I have any more fluid ducts? That's an item duct. I think I might actually have them upstairs. All right. And over here. A little 360 there. All right. So we're going to grab ourselves a couple of these. And now if we look in the book here, um, it's weird that it's that small. So biodiesel. Okay. So the following table lists all valid fuels for the diesel generator and, and for how long in seconds ticks they burn. So biodiesel burns at uh, 6.25, I guess that's 62.5 ticks, diesel. So gasoline is the best. And we actually have the most of that, which is good. So let's, uh, let's do this real quick. Let's actually make ourselves another tank. I have so many tanks that are just full of juices I don't need. All right, so let's look up a tank real quick. All right, let's go ahead and go for the hardened. So we're going to need this. So copper and glass. Uh, one, two, three, four. And a piece of copper. Okay. I just looked at something and wandered off and almost ran into a wall. Okay. So uh, there's that. And then I think to upgrade this, we're going to need four pieces of invar, which I'm hoping we have. And we do. Perfect. All right. So basically, we're going to do this. We're going to swap this around like so. Now, here comes the tricky part. I don't want anything other than gasoline to go in here. So to do this, first off, we're going to go ahead and turn all of these off so that they're not um, pumping out any more fluids. All right. Okay. So now we should see a little bit of a uh, a backlog there. We're going to go ahead and pick this up. And then I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. And then let's see. This gasoline is this one. So we'll go ahead and turn this one on. And gasoline has nowhere to go. But it does now. All right. Oh, holy crap. I pulled that off. Who would have guessed all right, so now we can turn all the rest of these back on. I really don't care what... As long as there's a place for the fluid to go, it won't obviously go into the other ones. So it should work just fine. And we're already building up more gasoline. Okay. So let's pop down here real quick. Uh, do I have any more... I need flux plugs. And I never remember how to make those because I don't make them too often. So a flux plug is a block of reinforced iron and an eye of ender okay should not be a problem grab that we don't have a whole lot of this stuff left but i can make more so no big deal and then we're gonna need a, one of these and one of these perfect okay go ahead and make our eye of ender it's so nice to not have to worry about eating that's so cool okay uh eye of ender Block, flux plug, perfect. 
Now, I don't remember if these hook up directly. I guess I should look right here, and they don't. So, I need... I need to grab um, one of these bad boys, a, a fluke stuck. There we go. All right, so we're going to set this on here, and I also want to make a lever. I don't know if I have any, but I really, it's not that big of a deal. I only have wooden, wooden stick. Oh, I have sticks on me. All right, grab a piece of cobble. And we're going to go ahead and make a lever. Now, there are two drawbacks to this. Well, I mean, the one big advantage is it pumps out over 4,000 RF per tick. And that's pretty cool. The downside to this, is, two downsides, is one, this thing is noisy as hell. Okay. And two, it burns through a lot of fuel. So... So we're going to go ahead and put the hardened fluid stuck here. And then we're going to put this. Actually, no, I lied. I lied. Put that in the wrong place. Give me that. Up here, we're going to put the this bad boy with this bad boy. Why did I put it down there? All right, so, and then we're going to set this to... Conductor mass. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. And then if we take... Now we take this. Put this right here. We'll go ahead and put this right here. And then we go like that. Okay. You heard it get loud there for a second. All right. So we got 8,000 millibuckets of gasoline. Is it working? You can tell because the fan spins. Okay, apparently... Oh, darn it! <laughs> and that just ate all that fuel by me doing that. All right, so I guess it's not going because we don't have anywhere we need the power to go. So it looks like this, I mean, we're doing decent on power. I just want to kind of have that as a backup. And I'll probably put the, the handle back on it. And let's just go check. So this bad boy is full. This bad boy is full. Let's just do a little experiment. Let's go ahead and tell this we want a couple diamond chip sets. And once this kind of kicks in and starts pumping out full juice, we should maybe see if this... And you guys can hear it running. And you can see it burning through the fuel. So let's go ahead and put that on, shut it off, so we can save a little bit of that fuel. So it's going to generate... What's that? Jetpack trying to kill me. So let's see. So you can see we're only up to about a bucket. So, and that thing ate a bucket just the time we were sitting there. So as you can see, uh, we really don't want to use it too much. Let's see. Did I did I end up making a, another chipset? You know what? We're just we're just gonna pause this because I really don't need the chipset. So, so we got ourselves um, another form of power. Um, and I would really say that that is going to be a little bit more of our backup power just because of the pure fuel consumption. Now, if I took, you know, as we play through and as, you know, these tanks fill up, I can use the the uh, diesel, which we've got over 11 buckets of, and the gasoline on it. Gasoline is going to get us a, a, a better rate. But as long as we keep this running, right now our power is decent. As you can see, our power is going back up. That's just off our conductor masses because they turned this off. Um, but, you know, if I wanted to use, say, the quarry, which I would like to use and get back into that, um, 
then I definitely want to make sure I have a little bit of backup power to refill those. So, all right, guys, well, we're going to wrap things up there. Um, so we got, we were kind of been working up to this. This is, I've been cooking steel for quite a while. This is the whole point of getting pneumatic craft is because I want to be able to get the, uh, the, the fuel for this. Um, because if I look in here, the other route I could go is the build craft refinery. But as you can see, it will not let me click on it. So that would have been the easiest way because then I would have just taken oil and it would have just refined the oil straight into fuel and that would have been that and it would have been that 10 times easier. But since uh, that is taken out, and look at this, we still have so much fuel. Now this isn't on a server. This is just, you know, a single player just on my computer. So whenever I'm off, when I'm not on here, even with a chunk loader, it, it doesn't run. So... Unfortunately, this fuel is only when I'm doing off-camera work or I'm recording, so it will be a little bit of a slow process. All right, guys, wait. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment section. Until the next episode of Mod Life, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.